Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter's Reality TV Recaps and Opinions, better known as, and that's my opinion, with Peter Mon. Uh, speaking of, and that's my opinion, we're going to talk about Traders today, which had Tamra Judge on it. So anyway, uh, last night, my husband and I finished up season two of The Traders, Traders US, um, and uh, I have to tell you, I have some mixed thoughts about the whole situation, um, very mixed thoughts about things that were said at the reunion and how things were handled and on and on and on and all that kind of stuff. So these are just my opinions. Feel free to share your opinions in the comment section below. One of the reasons why I started this channel is because I love talking about reality TV. It's what my husband and I talk about uh, exclusively. That's the entirety of our relationship is that we just talk about reality TV. No, that's not true. Um, my good Jitty Tawny Jean, my best friend, uh, we talk about reality TV. She was just texting me last night. She was like, have you guys watched Traders yet? I said, we're on the reunion. And then I texted her and I said, I feel really bad for MJ. And she said, it's a game. And I said, I still feel really bad for her. And she goes, I know I do too, but it's a game. So, you know, here's the deal. All right. So we watched the reunion last night. So, or the finale last night. So by the way, this is going to be filled with spoilers, just like every video over here. Okay. That I do on this channel. If you're doing a show talking about the recaps of a show and your opinion about it, it's probably going to have spoilers in it. So if you don't want traders ruined for you, this is not the video to watch. Okay. And I made that very, very clear when I started this channel and people to this day are like, Peter, you spoiled. It's a, listen, it's a recap show. Okay. Why would you watch a recap? I mean, it literally says it in the title of my channel, Peter's reality TV recaps and opinions about the recaps. Okay, so I don't know why you would watch a channel if you didn't want the show spoiled for you. That's a recap of the show, I'm just gonna say. So anyway, uh, but let's get into this. So we watched the uh, finale of uh, Traders last night. Now, you're probably not over here watch, watching this video unless you watch Traders, so I'm not even gonna get into explanation of what Traders is. We'll, we'll just act like everybody that's watching this video already knows what Traders is, okay? So anyway, we're watching the, 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 what do you call it, the finale of Traders, and it's down to Sandra, Kate, um, Trishel, CT, and MJ, okay? Now, I have to tell you, as an avid watcher of Shaw's The Sunset for years and years and years, I was devastated that on season one, Reza was like, I think he was like the first one that got kicked out, right? Okay, so the fact that MJ made it till the very end, I was really, really excited, right? I will say that one thing that's interesting about the show that I thought about, and I, I saw that somebody said it somewhere, <laughs> In a love song, isn't that, is, okay, anyway, but anyway, somebody said this somewhere, and I was like, that is so true, right? So, like, Alan Cummings, the host, literally goes around the room when they're all blindfolded, and he taps the shoulder of somebody, and in that moment, it's like you're back in high school, and the person, or like middle school or elementary school, whenever it's decided on that one day, who's popular and who's not, do you guys remember that day? I don't. I don't remember that day. I don't know if I was sick that day, and that's why I got made to be the person that was going to be made fun of for the next 12 years, and that whoever, the you know, those five people were going to be untouched and forever popular for the next 12 years. I don't know how that was decided, but Traders is very similar to that, right? Just like everybody in that room is like coming in there with the same energy. Just because you're tapped on a shoulder, all of a sudden, you are part of this elite, horrible group called the Traders. So you're all of a sudden, because like, if you watch this show, Show, right? There's the faithfuls, and the faithfuls are like the most perfect people in the entire world, and they're like pure and innocent, and they could do no wrong, and they're gonna get the traitors, right? But like the traitors didn't like come onto the show inherently evil, they just like got picked to be the traitors, you know? And so it's like the whole thing is so funny to me because not just being like a game, not just being a reality show, but it's kind of a social experiment too, because if you think about that. There was that moment in time, and like if you, because I went to school with the same people all 12 years, right? When there's that one day in like first grade or kindergarten when everybody's kind of like the roles are picked for the next 12 years. Like maybe some roles change a little bit by who somebody dates or goes to a school dance with or as often happens, my tripod fell. But do y'all remember that? Like that, you know, sometimes the roles change. They do, you know, because somebody dates this person or dates that person or goes to a school dance with that person. But pretty much those roles that are picked, like in first grade, are the roles for life. So when they're tapped on the shoulder and traitors, it is kind of a social experiment because from that moment on, they're liars, cheaters. I mean, just because they're tapped on the shoulder, right? Okay. So that whole part of it is very, very interesting to me because just because you're tapped on the shoulder by Alan Cumming, all of a sudden you're part of this horrible group of people, right? And you're not a faithful anymore. You're a traitor, which I love how he says that. So anyway, 
So I love this show, first of all. I just want to say I'm obsessed with this show. It's the edge of your seat, seat show. I, like, my husband and I were watching a show. We're always like, we watched The Housewives, and we were watching the reunions last night of The Housewives, and then we were watching this. Okay, so anyway, so it's down to the five of them, right? And they go into the final banishment. And Kate is, everybody's like gunning for Kate, okay? And I'm watching this go down, and I'm like thinking to myself, because I'm remembering the season before when Suri won, right? And now I have to tell you, I haven't watched any of the international ones, but my friend Nikki said Australia and UK is fantastic. So I'm going to start watching those as well. But um, I guess that's where it started and originated, was I think the UK uh, traders. So I am like watching this and I'm like, okay, this is going to be really interesting because I can remember how Suri played it last year, right? And I have to be honest with you, like, I am a super fan of Surrey Fields, but when I watched it last year, I felt really bad for those, like, other, I think it was, like, two people at the end that were with her, that they thought they were going to get all that money, remember? You know that one woman that she thought she was taking money home? To, I just, like, felt so devastated for all that, right? But the game is called Traders, and it's a game, and we know that, right? And, um... But I love Surrey Fields. I do. So when I was watching at this very end, I thought they always do something at the very end, right? And so I'm watching this round table, and all of a sudden, CT switches it. Well, what they do is, because you have to remember, it's a reality show. <laughs> reality show. It's a reality show. So a lot of it is in the edit, and they edit the show because they want it to be surprising to us, the viewer. So they edit the show to make it look that way, and there's conversations that are going on. Well, I don't really think the conversation, I think they edit some things out too, if you want to know the truth. So I think going into that, CT had not told Trishel what his plan was, but I, I believe that CT knew that Kate was a traitor. They all knew that Kate was a traitor, okay? So he had to get out I think he knew that Kate was a traitor, and he knew that Kate was the only final traitor left. I think he knew that. So, he had to get rid of Kate, but he wanted to save her until they were doing it at the fire pit thing, right? So, he switches his vote, and he goes for Sandra, because, or Sandra, whatever her name is, because she knows that if he goes for Sandra, Trishel, who trusts him implicitly, she will switch her vote to Sandra, okay? He knows Sandra's probably not a traitor, but if she is a traitor, he got to trade her out. And if she's not a traitor, then it's one less person he has to split the money with, okay? So, and now, what that means is, then if he gets Sandra out, then when he goes to the final, the final fire pit, then it's he, Trishel, MJ, and Kate. He knows Kate's a traitor, okay? So they're going to get her out of the fire pit. It's going to be him, MJ, and Trishel, right? So they get rid of Sandra. She's devastated, blah, 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 whatever, okay? I mean, this is perfect gaming for CT. This is where you can really see the gaming moves of it, okay? That he was, like, thinking. He even said that in the reunion. He's like, I always think, like, 10 steps ahead, you know? Dan said that, too, but Dan... Dan got lucky on Big Brother. Like, if Dan, this is the thing that people forget about Big Brother, right? When Dan played Big Brother, it was very, I mean, I've been an avid Dan or Big Brother watcher for years. I took a break, but, you know, so I watch, I watch all those seasons. What people forget is that there's been a lot of seasons of Big Brother since then. Dan could not play and win Big Brother today the way that he did back then. People know too much about the game now, right? And so, and in fact, Janelle is a better player of Big Brother because she won more competitions. She saved herself more times on and on and on than Dan is. Janelle's hands down a better Big Brother player than Dan was, even though Dan won. So, <clears throat> you know, um, it goes to the final four and then it's Kate. Kate acted like in the reunion that she threw it because she didn't feel like coming in halfway, she deserved the money with the faithfuls. No, I, I'm not buying that. I, I, mm -mm, no, girl. I've seen enough. Watch what happens lives with Kate. I followed her enough, long enough, you know, all that kind of stuff to know that that's not who Kate is, okay? I think if Kate could have taken all the money, she would have taken all the money and she would have smiled and walked away. I truly think that's who Kate is, right? So it's Kate and it's MJ and it's CT and it's Trisha. And at the last moment, or when they have to all throw in their things, this was the big F up, right? This is where Kate came in and she wasn't as bright as she was last season. And maybe she really was never that smart for the game anyway. She says she throws in her green thing. Well, later, she doesn't want to come across like she's stupid, so she says she just wanted to give it to them anyway. It's basically what she says. She didn't feel like she deserved the money, right? She would be happy. Well, she didn't say even that. She just said she'd be happy if they all won, okay? So I'm sitting there and I'm watching this, and as soon as Kate's thing goes green. I go, oh my God, Kate, what did you do? Like, MJ already knows that somebody, would, Sheree was killed. If Sheree was killed, there's still a traitor left. They all know that. Why are you being so stupid? 
I don't think Kate even thought about it because Kate was thinking like a traitor. She said she was thinking about it like a faithful, but she wasn't. She was thinking like a traitor. She didn't even occur to her. But then she had to play it off like she kind of did it to like, because she couldn't, you know, whatever. I'm not buying it, okay? I think she really screwed up and she knew it in that moment. And in that moment, MJ, I think, knew that obviously that Kate was a traitor. And I think CT already believed that and Trishel just did everything that CT did. So she was like, you know, whatever. I don't think Trishel was that great of a player. They kept on talking about, oh, Trishel was the best player the whole season. I'm like, I don't think Trishel was that great of a player. First of all, all that money they got in that last mission was on CT and CT alone. CT got all of that money. So if anybody's deserving of getting that part of the money, that $50,000, which was half of what he got anyway, CT is deserving of that money. I mean, he ran his ass off in that last mission. So now it's down, so Kate leaves. So now it's down to MJ, uh, Trishel, and CT, okay? And I'm already like, as soon as I see the three of them stand there, I look at my husband and I go, oh, I already see where this is going. And Alex is like, what? And I'm like, they're going to get rid of MJ and they're going to split the money. And as soon as I look back at the TV, CT winks at Trishel. And I'm like, okay, so then they vote and Trishel votes for CT. Well, I think this was all for the play of the game, okay? I don't think... She can say what she wants to say, but I think at some point in the game, at some point in the game, I think there is a edited conversation that Trishel and CT had that we never saw. And they said, listen, we've come from the challenge. We've had this relationship for over 20 years. They kept on talking about it, right? Like true, true, let's be honest with each other. Are you a faithful or are you a traitor? And I think they both of them said that they were faithfuls. And I said, I think they agreed to go to the very end. And if they got down to the final two, whoever was left, they were going to eliminate and split the money. You cannot convince me otherwise that that was, that conversation did not occur. Okay. Because Trishel votes for CT, okay? CT votes for MJ, and MJ votes for Trishel. So at the end, which it was baffling to me, okay? So they have to go and they have to go do the vote again. So when they vote again, CT keeps his vote as MJ. We know that, right? MJ keeps her vote at Trishel. Well, Trishel has voted for CT already, okay? So it would make sense... Like, he gives this whole, like, speech about, you know, he's believing her, all this stuff, all this kind of stuff. So she switches her vote to MJ, which gives MJ two votes and MJ's out. If Jim, MJ was a smarter player, she would have voted for CT and would have put him in a deadlock. It wouldn't have really mattered anyway because she would have seen what was going on. And she, I think she did. You could tell by the look on her face. She already saw what was going on. CT had already decided they were going to split the money, he and Trishel. He had already decided that before they, before Kate was even gone. He decided that in the room with Sandra and getting rid of her because he wanted to split the money between two people, not between three. And, you know, and, and when MJ walked away and she said, I hope that you're very happy with yourselves or whatever, what she was saying, and she said it on the reunion, was you're greedy. They are greedy, right? But the show is called Traitors and it's a show and whatever. I just think it's interesting because I have to be honest with you, out of all of the faithfuls, Peter and MJ were probably the ones that got T CT and Trishel to the end, you know? So that was very interesting to me, but like, it's a game. And like, this was the conversation at the reunion was that like, it's a game, it's a game, it's a game. You can't get upset because it's a game. They can get upset about whatever they want. You, can, you don't get it the right to tell somebody how to feel just because it's a show that's a game. People can be very upset about it. And I have to tell you, like, it was interesting because, well, first of all, one of the, the as an avid housewife watcher, one of the sweetest moments for me was Sheree. I mean, y'all, if you've watched Housewives as long as I have, you know that Real Housewives of Atlanta, the, the whole situation between Phaedra and Sheree and Phaedra and Candy and Phaedra and all that kind of stuff, right? And so to see Phaedra and Sheree back together and Phaedra to kind of have somewhat of a redemption arc and then Phaedra having to outright lie to Sheree, in all honesty, in that moment, I was really hoping that Phaedra would be honest with Sheree and just out of respect for their friendship, but she couldn't do it because of the game. And so the fact that Sheree, you could tell, was so forgiving, she was smiling and laughing at everything that Phaedra said at the reunion, and she got it that it was a game, right? But what was interesting to me was that a lot of these people kept on, were very upset. Like, MJ was, and like, Tr Trishel said at one point, like, why are you upset? And John, the parliament speaker or whatever, he kept on going, it's a game, it's a game, and whatever. Well, what's interesting to me about this is watching these games for years, like Big Brother and Survivor, Parker D and Sandra did not get along when this show came in, okay? And that is a game. Survivor is a game. I'm watching it right now. It just started up again, okay? It's a game. Their bitterness is because of the game and how they played the game, all right? Um, so that goes that. Janelle, when Janelle was in the house and the other people were all rooting to get her out, 
Janelle talked mad shit online, has still speak, spoken mad shit for years afterwards, okay? Spoke stuff about Nicole and Nicole's wedding and all that kind of stuff. So all these people, these gamers that were saying, it's just a game, it's just a game, are literally the epitome of gamers that have never acted like it's just a game, you know, for years, for years, right? In fact, Trishel and CT came in and said they didn't get along because of their relationship on the game, the challenge, right? So this whole idea of it's just a game you need to get over, it's just a game, why are you bitter? Why are you holding on to these feelings? Janelle has been tweeting, and, I, and listen, I am a huge Janelle fan, okay? But she has tweeted out some horrific stuff to co-players of her on Big Brother, still bitter about it years later, okay? You can tell Dan is still bitter about stuff. So all these gamers are very, very bitter about that. Johnny Bananas, you could tell, was so bitter about it. He was like, yeah, it's just a game, but he was so pissed that he got kicked out first, right? And I'm like, and you're, you're pissed because it's your ego and your pride that are hurt, right? So when you see people like MJ and Phaedra that are pissed, absolutely they should. You know, and what was so interesting to me was that Dan kept on saying, I knew I couldn't make it to the end with Phaedra, right? But then you have CT that was taking Trishel to the end. Tr CT could have just got rid of Trishel too, right? And just taken all the money himself. But he wanted to share that money with Trishel. This is the thing, is that when Phaedra said, I'm the most faithful trader, she was the most faithful trader. She would have taken both D Dan and Parvati or Kate to the very, very end and split the money with them. Dan was never willing to do that. Parvati, I think, was willing to do that with Dan. Dan wanted to be the standalone trader because Dan doesn't know how to win anything in an alliance. Dan only knows how to win things alone, right? And so Dan doesn't get that, why Phaedra's upset. Phaedra's not upset, okay, that Dan was gunning for her. Phaedra's upset because Phaedra was willing to take Dan to the very end as a trader and split the money with him. It was about her being faithful to the traitors. He came in and was faithful to himself, right? Which is why she went on that whole conversation out when Kate said she was selfish and whatever, which was K Kate's worst move on the show. She should never have said that about Phaedra, right? So that whole thing was like very, very interesting to me. I was going to say about Sheree and Phaedra was, I was kind of upset they didn't ask in the reunion about that conversation. That conversation was like the moment for me when Sheree asked her like, are you a faithful or are you you know, a traitor when they were sitting there just the two of them. Like that moment for me, like that brought tears to my eyes having watched the two of them on the Housewives for years and years and years, you know? But I thought the reunion was very, very interesting. It was interesting to me that they kept on talking about MJ. But first of all, I think MJ has every every right to be better about it. You know, I get that it's a game. I totally understand that that's a game, right? In the end, MJ will walk away from it and be like, it's a game. I mean, at the end of it, I mean, these people are wealthier than Sin anyway. I mean, she would have gotten like 70000 It was $208,000 was the pot, right? She would have got $70,000, what, 30% taxes taken out of that. Still a good amount of money, but it's not like it's $200,000, right? But I think for her, it was more about the fact that she had won, right? That was like the title of that for her was meant something. And MJ worked very, very hard for the faithfuls, you know? And I think the fact that she got sold out, it, it wasn't that she got sold. This is what I think pissed her off. It wasn't that she got sold out because they thought she was a traitor. It was that she got sold out over greed because they wanted the money. And the money wasn't what it was about to MJ. And so I think that's where she was pissed off that people were missing the point, you know? It was so interesting to me that... So there was just a... A lot that went on in that reunion. Maybe I'll save that for another video. But anyway, those are my thoughts for traitors. It's over. But Survivor started. An amazing race is getting ready to start. I'm already. I just watched Survivor, the second episode last night. It is good. This season of Survivor is probably one of the best seasons of Survivor I've ever seen. I love it so far already. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below about traitors. I love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.